Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be having a look at a drive docking station. This is another product from Fideco. This is the model Y842HC. Um, it's a standard docking station, but this one comes with a USB 3 hub as well. So um, we're going to be looking at uh, this product today. So here's the product itself as you can see it's a nice sort of compact desktop version so um, we're going to be using this to replace our standard SD card reader that we've got this uh, obviously is going to be really useful the fact that you can add two drives to it um, SD cards and you've got the two USB ports on the back so the packaging is standard Fideco packaging looks quite nice inside we've got a hub that's wrapped in a nice sort of uh, matte finish plastic bag oh nice yeah and on the product itself um so it's a sort of gray speckled finish plastic sprung loaded clips at the top so uh, it'll take two and a half inch and three and a half inch drives and then on the front we've got a micro SD card reader and we've got a card reader as well and uh, two USB 3 ports on the back of the unit we've got a uh, USB 3 port we've got a 12 volt DC input and then we've got our standard on off switch on the whole looking at the unit looks very nice so let's have a look see what else we get in the box so we get our little instruction manual that breaks down I think there's there's four different model types that it's got here uh, as is the as I said it's the 842HC is the bottom one uh, you can tells you how to insert your drives how to connect it up to your laptop or your computer and then the power um, the power button there okay now this is good it also supports offline drawing cloning as well so um, we've got a button on the top here so when you insert your two drives in here so you can stick a I don't know three and a half inch drive into slot one and then a two and a half inch SATA disk into slot two and then you can press the clone button on the front and that will um, run through um, with the power indicator or the light indicators on the front here 25% 50% and 100% once it's completed now the drive cloning needs to be on the same size drives or you can clone from a smaller drive to a larger drive but obviously you can't clone from a larger drive to a smaller drive because you're not going to have the space on there but um, you've got the ability to do offline drive cloning as well so this is uh, a nice little unit and very handy for that it's also backwards compatible with USB 2 so if you've got keyboard and mouse for instance you can plug them in there and then daisy chain that off through the hub to your uh, to your PC uh, different language versions for different countries and then in the box we've got a 12 volt power adapter this is let's have a look see if it's got the wattage on it 24 watts so connecting it up is nice and simple so we've got our power supply connected into the back here along with our USB 3 cable and the USB 3 cable just runs into the side of the PC into a USB 3 port and then we can switch the device on and we get our power indicator on the top there in red we've got no drives or anything in there at the moment um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be first of all we're going to test this as a standard docking station and then we're going to have a look at the offline drive clone so the first test we're going to do we're just going to simply plug in we're simply going to plug in a drive with the device already on so we can see we've already got our power light on here and we've got a 250 gig SSD drive in here so we're just going to plug it in and see if it detects it when the device is switched on so that's now 
plugged in, we can see we've got our disk activity light. And then popping up straight away, we've got our drive information. So if we go to this PC, we can see we've detected our 250 gig drive here. We can go into it and we've got our full Windows installation on there. So that's what's on that drive. Um, so that gives you the ability to, um, to see that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take another drive and we're also going to connect that as well. We're going to take a hard drive this time. And we're going to plug that. We're going to plug this uh, 500 gig drive, three and a half inch drive in, into drive into slot two. Like that. We can also see that it's captured it under two partitions, which is what I would expect to see. So we can see our G drive, which is our system reserved drive. So let's have a look at it here, which is there. And then we've got our H drive, which is our, another data drive, H drive, which is again, another Windows installation on there. So in terms of the, in terms of the unit itself, it does exa exactly what it says it's supposed to do. And we've got our HD1 light on here. We've got our HD2 light, light on there. Now let's see if we can also now plug in an SD card. So if we take the card out from the, uh, take, take an SD card out of a camera here. So if we take this card out, and again, uh, we're gonna leave the two drives in. We're gonna plug this, uh, this card into the front. Like that, and let's see if it detects it. I think it's this one, it is. Okay, so that's detected it as well, so we'll minimize that. Uh, and now if we go to this PC, we've got our two and a half inch drive still here. We've got our three and a half inch drive here, and we've now got our SD card in there. So if we go into our SD card, go into M4 root and clip, we can see some video clips that we've created. So that's all working. So everything on the device itself works without any problems at all. So three and a half inch drive, two and a half inch drive, and our SD card reader all in there at the same time, which is, which is pretty neat. And now let's see if we can add, let's see if we can add something into the USB three hub. So I'm gonna take, just take a standard mouse and I'm gonna plug that into the front. And it's the system's telling me that it's setting up the device. And I can now move the mouse around without any problems at all. So let's just go back and show you that moving of the mouse. And there we go. So the mouse moves okay. So the hub works, the SD card reader works, and it works with two drives. Okay, so the next thing that I wanted to test out was the drive cloning. So in drive one, we have a 250 gig SSD drive. In, in our drive two, we've got our 500 gig um, hard disk. So not normally the way around that you'd do it, but if I had a, uh, um, a one terabyte SSD drive, I can put that into drive two and I can put my 500 gig drive into here and clone the contents of drive one onto drive two without it being connected. So let's have a look at just how we've got it connected. So as you can see on the back here, we've got no USB three cable in there at all. We've just got our power lead in there and we've got our two drives ready to clone. So we're going to be cloning drive one onto drive two. Um, and we're not going to be using any PC or software to do this. We're just going to be using the, uh, the, the, the drive clone button on the top. So I'm going to press and hold that. Okay. And as you can see now, we are in the process of cloning. So our first activity light is 25%. Once that's done, it'll move up to 50%, and once it's complete, it will move up to 100%, and then it'll be completed. So, um, as with the other Fideco unit that we recently tested, this is a great tool for IT people or people that want a low-cost unit that's got the ability to clone their drive without using any software for it, um, and also the 
added benefit of this one of course is it comes with a USB hub, it comes with a card reader and it also acts as a docking station so it's really a sort of five tools in one type of product. And then once our drive's fully cloned we can see we're up to 100% uh, in terms of the lights there so that means that uh, our SSD drive has cloned onto our three and a half inch drive. What we're going to do now is we'll get that connected back up to the PC and we'll have a look so the content on those drives should be identical. Okay, so now we've got the drive connected. So let's open up our Windows Explorer and then we can see we've got our D drive and we've got our D drive here. So um, what we need to do is we need to remove one of the drives because they're both identical. They've both got the same serial numbers now. Uh, well, they've both got exactly the same content on, so the Windows can't determine between the two because it thinks them they're the same. So if we switch our drive off, and there we go, and we remove our 250 gig drive and switch it back on again. So this is our D drive now. So if we, we make a note of all of the folders on there and then I'm going to remove that drive, which is our three and a half inch drive that we've cloned our SSD onto. And we plug our SSD drive in and turn it on. And these are our two uh, USB ports, the icons. And here is our SSD drive. So this is the uh, the D drive, and as you can see here, it's got exactly the same folders on. So the clone has successfully completed. So if you want to find out about a, bit, a little bit more about this product, we'll leave some details in the description below, along with a link to the product. Um, Fideco seem to be a good quality um, manufacturer. <laughs> Their kit does exactly as it says on the tin, um, and this is no exception. So we're going to be using this to replace our little SD card reader that we've got on our on our desk, um, because obviously, you know, there's lots more use cases for this one. So if you found that video useful, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just want to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.